today yeah. to see yeah. those lights or we'll whatever. We'll make it a good case for indoor activities. Yeah. Yeah. Not yeah. very seasonal. Uh -uh. Uh, this is a live shot from our seaside camera. Oh. Boy, it is shaking and rocking and rolling out there, bouncing around as the rainfall continues to pick up along the coast right now. We are in the 50s, though, so at least you know, with all this rain we've got on the way, at least it's going to be on the warm side, so it's not going to be super cold. 51 degrees down there. Good morning, you folks down there in Clackamas County. You're going to feel those winds are going to continue to pick up this afternoon along the coast as well. Current conditions here in downtown Portland. You see the rain beginning to fall there. These are scattered showers right now. This is not the main event yet. That's coming later today. Winds southeast six miles per hour right now and uh, dew points at 55. All right, satellite and radar you see beginning to fill in now, especially along the coast, up in the coast range, and just a few scattered showers moving through the metro area right now. But they will continue to pick up and fill in because there is a lot of rain off the coast. There's our atmospheric river just beginning to set up shop right now, pointed northern uh, Washington, pointed at northern Washington, southern British Columbia right now, but that'll sag down over the metro area later this afternoon. Flood watches everywhere in the green western half of Washington. Washington and Oregon from the uh, Cascade Crest out to the coast. And that's now through Thursday. Rain increasing today and tonight. Three to four inches in the valley by the time it's all said and done on Wednesday night and into Thursday. Seven inches out there along the coast and uh, eight inches or more in some locations in the Cascades and up in the coast range. And that's why we have concerns for flooding. Uh, weather alerts from 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. today on Monday. We've got the Coastal Flood Advisory for tidal overflow only. So this is separate minor flooding. That's about a foot above average ground level uh, this afternoon during high tide there. The National Weather Service wants you to be aware of that out there. Uh, Tillamook, Clatsop counties, and then southern Washington there, Pacific County. Flood warnings now. Grays River in southwest Washington, Waukiakum County this afternoon. That takes effect this afternoon. A uh, warning along the Wilson River near Tillamook takes effect this evening. And then Johnson Creek in southeast Portland through Tuesday morning, or takes effect Tuesday morning, I should say. All right, weather alerts. Yeah, we got more. We got a wind advisory. The Western Valleys, Portland, Vancouver area down to Salem. Winds gusting this afternoon and evening 15 to 30 with uh, sustained 15 to 30. Gusts 35 to 45. That's along the coast as well. That's in effect from 7 a.m. today through tomorrow morning. But notice south of Salem, it's mainly confined to the western parts of the valley there down near uh, Benton County. All right, wind gusts forecast. We'll bring this forward this afternoon. Here's 2 o'clock. See the winds gusting 35, 40, 45 along the coast. They pick up in the valley 25 to 35 miles per hour. They continue that way this evening, pick up just a bit. And then as the main area of rainfall shifts off to the south tomorrow morning, but then comes back up tomorrow afternoon and evening, so does the southerly wind. And again, here's tomorrow night. Again, very similar to what we're going to see today with those gusty southerly winds. Future cast, boy, it really paints with a lot of yellow, moderate and heavy rainfall this afternoon. Continues into this evening. Here's 730 tonight. Overnight tonight continues into the wee hours of Tuesday morning. Here's 5 a.m. Continues on your Tuesday as well. And then finally, once we get to Wednesday night and Thursday, the system begins to break apart. And that is the end of that atmospheric river event. All right, seven day forecast. We've got weather alerts today. We'll call it rain increasing 58 for a high with wind increasing as well. Rainy and windy on Tuesday and Wednesday, right around 60 for daytime highs. And then Thursday showers ending. We'll dry it out on Friday and next weekend we'll cool it down, which is the chance of a few scattered showers. All right, Steve, thanks so much.